there, everybody. Good morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, your daily dose from moi. How y'all doing this morning? It is a little bit of a rainy morning this morning. And uh, so just to mix things up a little bit, a little different perspective on uh, on things going on, but never fear. Chicken is still here joining us. Thank you for joining me this morning. When you get here, I would love it. If you would leave your name and just a hi or how you doing or maybe where you're watching from today down in the comments. That'll let me know that you were here. That's encouraging to me and sets you up to get notified as the com conversation rather continues in the comments. If you are listening on your podcast catcher, you can join us live and watch the show every morning, 7 a.m. on Facebook. Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook to catch uh, all the action there. So, good morning, Jeremy and Joe. You guys, always happy to see you here. And those of you who haven't had a chance to say good morning yet, um, now, I can already tell, based on the way I'm set up this morning, I'm going to have difficulty. <laughs> My eyes aren't that good. I can't see that far away. We'll make it work, though. All right, so... Yesterday, a couple, one thing to clear up from yesterday, I was talking about, um, I called it Metcalf's number. It's really Dunbar's number. I made a mistake yesterday. Dunbar's number says that we can only maintain a maximum of 150 first order relationships. We talked about that a little bit here on this show. Talked about it a lot more on the coffee shop show. Uh, if you missed out on that, just scroll down in the feed a little bit. It'll be there. Uh, and you can watch Eric and I and Joe and some of the patrons in the coffee shop talk about topics of the day. So uh, also in that conversation, and this is what I wanted to get to today, is that there are three, you need three types of people, uh, relationships with three types of people. And so those are the three types of people that uh, I want to talk about a little bit this morning. Now, Joe's going to start leaving comments and make me lean over here to be able to read them. Yeah, it got, uh, I don't know, something got wonky there for a second. It was a little bit out of sync here for me also. We'll just deal with it. We'll go with what we got. All right, three types of people that you need to have relationships. Number one, people who are similarly situated to you. One of the things I encourage entrepreneurs to do all the time is find... An, uh, other entrepreneurs to develop relationships with. They have a particular, we have a particular perspective on things that a lot of other people don't share, right? So having those relationships gives you somebody to talk with, somebody who can help you kind of walk with you even through those, uh, the things in business and life that you're going through. Uh, as you're getting started. So the first type of person to have relationships with, someone who is similarly situated, all right? The second type of person to have uh, and develop relationships with is someone who is ahead of you. Now, some people will say somebody who's a little bit ahead of you. Some people will say someone who's way ahead of you. I say someone who is ahead of you so that they can pull you along. Right When you have questions, they've been through, um, it's a good metaphor here, they've been down the road that you are just beginning on. So when you have questions, when you have concerns or, or doubts, that's somebody who can help you. They can mentor you through that process. They have that experience and they can share that with you. Super, super valuable. Right? I mean... Well, uh, I think it was Peter Vug, one of the uh, guys I like to read, says, if you want to be a millionaire, have billionaire friends. Right? Makes sense, right? So, first type of person, someone who is simil similarly situated, somebody who's kind of at your level. Second kind of person, somebody who is ahead of you, who can pull you along, mentor you, hold you accountable, Right? Keep, keep you moving down the path. The third type of person to build a relationship with is someone who is a little bit behind you. Now this one might seem unusual at first, but it's maybe one of the most important. All three of them are important. But this one is important 
also. I list it last, but you definitely don't look at these as the last ones to develop. Here's why they're important. Right? You've probably heard the saying, the best way to understand something is to teach it. Right? So, the first thing to consider is, if you want to understand the path that you're on, the road that you're taking, and master that material, teach it to somebody else. Right? It just, it forces you to master the material. But secondly, I think we have an obligation to help other people along. Right? In the same way that we are looking to someone who is ahead of us to help us out, we have to be that person for someone who is not yet to our level. Right? Because if we don't do it for them, why should anybody else do it for us? Right? It's a virtuous circle, how we help. And, and by all of us working together, we build a stronger um, environment, ecosystem, whatever word of the day you want to use to describe that. But you have to, and this is not giving back. I had this conversation with somebody yesterday. It's not like I'm successful, so I'm giving back. It is, I want to learn, I want to improve, I want to grow, so I'm going to help you grow. And in the course of helping you grow, it helps me also. Right? Hope that helps a little bit. Just you know, we've been talking about relationships all week, the value of relationships, both in life and in business. And uh, we got off on this uh, the, this aspect of it yesterday, um, uh, I guess during during the coffee shop show. Felt it uh, bore a little, um, or warranted a little further discussion for us this morning. So I hope that that's helped you. Think about... And, and, you know, and Dunbar's number, 150 first-order relationships, that can be intimidating. That's a lot of people, right? But think about it in turn. Just, just do 15 people, right, at first, right? That's an easy number to divide up into thirds or 12, right, or 9, whatever the number is, right? But about a third of the people need to be ahead of you. About a third of the people need to be coming up behind you. And about a third of them need to be similarly situated right so start thinking about your first order relationships that you are working to develop right how many of them are ahead of you how many of them are encouraging you building you pulling you along down that road to toward your success for most of us that's probably the smallest number how many of them are behind you that you're actively giving them help mentoring them let's meet every other week for a cup of coffee. Let's talk on a regular basis to see how you're doing. That's probably a pretty small number also. Right? There's a, uh, I think it was Zig, Zig Ziglar, or uh, Jim Rohn, I think it's Jim Rohn actually, said you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you spend the most time with five people who are just like you, you're going to be just like you are now. Remember, if you want different results, you have to do things different. Add, if you want to be a millionaire, hang out with billionaires, right? Add that to your average, and that will pull you along. All right, I can see that there are good comments going on here. Let's see if I can read them. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm having a hard time reading them. So I'm going to spend some time answering the comments in the comments today. Uh, I try to do that every day. Uh, but if you have a question, if you have a comment, something you'd like for me to cover, be sure and leave that in the comments so I can get to that. Remember, today's Thursday. That means tomorrow is, that's right, Free Coaching Friday. If you have a question, a topic, <clears throat> or just something you'd like for me to uh, pontificate on tomorrow, leave that in the comments or send me a message uh, on this Facebook page, or just an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. I will look through those, get a good question for us to handle tomorrow. All right, that's it for today. You guys, be it's Thursday. It means thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? Uh, leave that in the comments, too. I love to see those uh, when you care to share them. That's it for today. I'll talk to you again tomorrow, another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you guys take care.